160 degrees. That's how hot your car can get when parked outside in this heat, Denise. So what happens when you leave something inside that car that maybe you shouldn't? It is now reporter Brian Will turned one of our cars into an experiment. This is what he found. It's hot outside, but what about the temperature inside your vehicle? We grabbed a few objects that we found around and put it inside the vehicle to see what would happen as the temperature increases while in that sun. When we first set up, it was around 100 degrees inside the vehicle, and after finishing setup, it's already over 120 degrees. Eggs, a battery, full can of soda, empty bottles, chapstick, licorice, chocolate, and a container of ice were among the things we put in this vehicle and closed the windows and parked it in the full sun on this 108 degree day. We started right when the excessive heat warning went into effect for Clark County. We're just over an hour and a half into this experiment and so far you can see some things have changed. The ice has all melted and that temperature is a little over 130 degrees inside the vehicle. We have this thermo gun, which tells us how hot it is. Just even on this windshield is 175 degrees. Then 15 minutes later, this Coke can exploded at a temperature of more than 140 degrees inside this vehicle. We're now just over three hours into this little experiment, and we're gonna check the status of some of these items. Just getting into the car, you can feel it scorching inside. Those eggs, not exactly you wanna eat, but you can tell they're hot. This lip balm is completely melted and liquid, and it's hot to the touch. Licorice, haven't really changed too much, a little melted, but that Coke can is almost pretty much empty and these chocolates are completely melted. And that's just after a couple hours in the vehicle. Can't imagine if a person or somebody else was inside. Reporting in Las Vegas, Brian Will, 8 News Now.